You guys, we have a new map pack. Yep, finally did it. Don't love making map packs, but you got to do what you got to do. You do got to do what you got to do. Uh, it was it was fun. It was cool. Um, the new train is is nifty. It's uh, it's MDF that already it's like laser cut, laser printed. Like it has all the color on there. You just pop it out, throw a little wood glue on there, and you're all set. Um, so like in under an hour, I went from like it was still in the packaging to it's on the table and in a playable game. And it looks good, too. So, um, big fan of that. Pretty neat. Yep. We can, you can even get, like, your team's logo kind of put onto one of the sides. So the copy that we have in our map pack actually shows it off at some of the far, at some of the alternate angles. You can see the ACO logo. So these will, I will have a set of this terrain at ACO. I'm not sure if I'll be using some of the map packs, just because personally I like twisting pieces around. But for the use of a map pack we did try to keep more right angles in place just because right angles are far easier to set up than skewing things left or right a little bit yeah so i was actually kind of curious about that um is a so aco is not going to be like all in on on using all this train we'll have a is couple it? sets of this stuff so we'll i think we have five boards that are basically for sale at aco we'll be using some of this i think i will probably use some of the map packs that i think are nice but some of the other ones will just be using the map or using the terrain at the way i would normally use terrain in a tournament so a mix of everything yeah um a couple of these terrain layouts are kind of pushing the boundaries a little bit they're a little bit out there um so look it over and uh tell us everything that you love about it tell us everything that you hate about it yeah and i'm sure you know there's plenty of other things that have come up i do really like the modularity of the terrain so for the wtc they build everything with basically four of the octarius pieces or l's or whatever you want to call them at this point at this exact same angle we did this map pack alongside can you roll crit he we both decided to have a pair of angles so that you can have a couple more deployments you can have vantages that face together that have the same empty blocks rather than having everything kind of be turned around because I am of the opinion that if you're going to put Vantage on an open board, it does need to do something. So I've been pretty annoyed that a lot of maps just have Vantage points that they are just traps. Like, there's no just reason to go stand on top of something. Yeah. Which is there for the visuals or for scoring Vantage, which seems kind of silly to me. It's very silly, yeah. Yeah. So, so I think for all of the boards that we've designed... Each vantage point at least should see some piece of light that should should probably impact the game or overlook a couple of vantage points. So if someone tries to deploy a barricade on a spot, you should have the ability to come cut a cover line. And for some of them, there are some more contentious choices, like having vantage points in deployments that are either at the line or pretty far back that actually can give cover. So that's definitely something that we've most people have shied away from, but I think, you know, there can be cost to dropping a vantage all the way in the back of a deployment and having someone just stuck on shooting duty. Designated sniper. Designated sniper spot. <laughs> yep, there's a lot of I'm tools not. that are out there to, to deal with that, though. You just got to get clever, get creative, and if it really doesn't work, then the second draft will have changes that fix the biggest complaints. Yep. Interestingly enough, this is going to be the World Team Championships terrain set. So there will probably be at least three terrain packets for this terrain. We've got one that I will probably be using some adjusted version for the Goonhammer Open, which is early June. So sometime next month, early next month. Meanwhile, I think on in the UK side, Goonhammer Open UK, can you roll a crit is running that he will be using his map pack, which uses this terrain. And then the WTC is in August and will also be using this terrain. So there will be a fair number of map packs just for this. So for anyone who's a newer TO or just trying to standardize their terrain so that more players get the same experience, this is definitely a thing that I might actually recommend just because you can get your logo on the terrain, which is very cool and it packs up really nice so jason i don't know if you have yours handy because i know all of my terrain fits in basically like two boxes about like in this much space yeah all of my so it's actually pretty compact like every single terrain kit that i have like whether it's into the dark whether it's octarius 
uh, channel nath or whatever. Oh, my camera's going out of focus. Um, I put in these like plastic totes that are like this big. Uh, it fits in there, you know, great. There's plenty of space. Um, For anyone looking at the camera right now or the YouTube video, you know, Jason is currently appearing the way he appears to himself at all times because Jason's true. got some crazy vision issues. Yep. And now it seems like it's traveled over to his computer. <laughs> Let's see if this helps. Yeah. Computer, you can do it. Whatever. Anyways. <laughs> yeah. Um, the terrain is ultimately basically Octarius, but without the oil rig and it's MDF. Um, there's come out some other like scatter bits. Uh, it's pretty cool. Definitely recommend checking it out. Comes with some more variable height, heavy walls, which is good because it lets you combine with the L shapes and the U shapes, or you can make big boxes that turn into death tra death pits. And it's nice. The big, one of the big upgrades compared to normal MDF or the previous MDF, MDF kits that have been popular, I think is that the flat walls are no longer just flat. They can have texture. So we have like these small buttresses that allow you to get light cover and allow you to play similar to Octarius in the sense that you can get cover. And I think it's, probably easier to tell if you have cover in comparison to Octarius where it's like, oh yes, the toe of my model is being covered. But at least for this one, it's way more obvious because it is a straight up right angle. Yeah, and the buttresses stick out like a, a solid like <laughs> half an inch or so. Yeah. Anyway, right, hopefully anyone will have the map pack f as a download link in the YouTube comments and the Patreon comments. So. Please do give us feedback. We'd love to, you know, have other UTC members who've been helping us run UTC tournaments give us some feedback because I am not super interested in being the only person to ever contribute to a map pack. So please do give us some comments. We'll see you there. <laughs>